Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Witches of the Moon. My name is Dia, aka Ori of Oasis.com, and this week we are talking about hexes and curses. Um, sorry if the camera's moving all around, I'm holding it by hand, so it's probably going to go everywhere. Uh, hexes and curses. Um, well, I'm not against them, not at all. However, um, I don't know where I want to. I don't know exactly where I want to go with this because there was a time a couple of years back. Excuse me. It was a couple of years back where, like, can I get my face in the camera? Okay. <laughs> There's a time a couple of years back where it seemed like everybody um, thought someone had cursed them, and everybody was going to almost every spiritual worker they know, saying, um, "Have I been cursed? Can you test me to be cursed?" and you know, from my belief, I can't say for nobody else, but from my belief, um, if you're cursed, you won't know that you're cursed, uh, because life will go so crazy for you, you won't have time to even think about the curse. You'd just be messed up. Uh, however, to me, hexes are a little bit different. It's, a little, it's, it's the same effect, but a little bit lighter. Like, you probably, for me, you would notice a hex, because a hex eventually can wear off, or has the potential to wear off, or a curse you definitely would need help getting off of you um and more than likely again like you from my belief my path you I, you wouldn't know that you were cursed now personally i don't believe in um well such it depends on the situation i'll say that i'm not really into hexing and cursing people now for my clients hey i don't judge my clients okay but for me uh it depends on the situation and say, say for instance, if you're dealing with a spouse who's, um, let's just keep it all we want it. You're dealing with a baby daddy, okay, who is not doing what they're supposed to do, not giving no money for the child, not visiting, whatever, okay? Now, in that particular situation, I wouldn't automatically curse them. Only because um, if they don't have the money, cursing them is not going to get them the money. Hexing them is not going to get them the money. And the whole point is you want the money and you want them to spend more time. So, cursing is not going to, while it makes you feel better, of course, and the petty in me approves, it's not going to get you the results that you want. So, and I know it sucks, but more so working prosperity on them and attraction on, on them to sweeten them to you will get you more of the results that you want. Uh... But again, like I said, it's, it's, it's situational. Like, if you have um, a neighbor that you're trying to get rid of, you can hex them, you can jinx them, you can curse them. However, they're probably a neighbor and they're probably pissy the way they are because they broke, busted, and disgusted. So, help them out a little bit where they can get a little money and then send them on their way. Send, I'm doing this like off the camera like y'all can see my arm. Send them on my way. Send them on their way. You know what I mean? You can you can hot foot somebody without making it like a um, hex or a curse. Just send them on their way. That way, one day ain't got to come back, and two, they not doing it to somebody else. Um, and again, I'm no angel. I'm no goody goody two shoes. I just try to look at the long run and what would give me the best benefit in the long run. Um, hopefully, but again, and then again, I serve my petty too. I love my petty. Uh, but again, back to hexes and curses. Um, I really don't have too much to say about that. Like, I don't believe... I do believe more people are hexed than cursed because, for me, there's a difference. Um, like, a cursed person, to me, wouldn't know they're cursed. It's kind of like... Um, almost like being a zombie, in a way. Like, they're a zombie, but they don't really know they're zombie, but they keep doing zombie things. More so than that. More so like that, at least for me. Um, I'm not too into generational curses, only because I've noticed that with most people who think they're have a generational curse is more so they just have generational habits where it's just a, a thing where they just do what they've seen and do what they know because they don't know any other way of doing it um I'm not saying it's not possible i'm just saying for me it's not that or in my line of work and what i do and what i've experienced it's very rare there's actually a generational curse and not just generational habits that's been passed down passed down and passed down and passed down um, hexes, hexes, hexes. I mean, I've seen plenty of hexes. So, um, you know, if you think you're being hexed, then go, oh, 
be careful not to hex yourself. When you're doing reversals, right, you have to pay attention to what workings you did before. Um, what workings you did before and see if that is actually working for you before you reverse the situation. Mainly because a lot of us do love and prosperity work, right? But in order for something to come in, something has to go. So we're not letting go of what needs to be let go. So we're being forced to detach from certain things uh, in order to get what we want. And in that, it can seem like we're being attacked or we, we've been hexed, especially when it's something that we're really attached to and we don't understand in the midst of it. You know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, but in the midst of it going on, we don't always fully understand it. So with that being said, um, you can end up hexing yourself by doing a reversal when you already done a work and that's supposed to bring you what you want and you don't understand the course or you're at the part of the course where it's no longer comfortable and it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. So now you're doing something to try to make yourself comfortable, which ends up working against or hexing what it is that you truly want that you worked on before. So pay attention to all your workings and the process that has to happen for that thing to come forth. Um, I am belching a lot, excuse me. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we don't have too much else to say for that. Um, other than, don't forget to watch everybody's videos. Um, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Because uh, if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You done binge watched a couple of these videos, okay? You know you done, done click the click the clicker. Click the click, especially now. We all bored. Ain't got nothing else to do. So you can click the click the clicker. You might as well go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to be a blessing. Or stay blessed to be a blessing. I forget how I say it. Stay blessed to be a blessing. Be a blessing. Stay blessed. I don't know right now. Look, y'all. Just stay blessed. Okay? That's whatever. Do the best you can with what you got. <laughs> and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.